right, well, I have the man with the plan this morning. Gabriel Vega, he is our South Texas gardener here on the weekends. Uh, he is with Botanico Indoor Gardening Store right on the south side. Pretty cool shop. And uh, we are talking about gnats today. And yes, you have the plan to get rid of these things. Yes. Oh, my goodness, they're getting uh, on my nerves. How do we get rid of these pesky bugs? Uh, we have a few different methods out there. Of course, <laughs> there's a direct contact kill spray if you do choose to go this route. Um, look for something that's safe to use indoors. Um, okay. If you're noticing that when you do apply this, that the gnats are falling right out of the sky, it's probably a little too strong <laughs> to use around the <laughs> that kitchen. That would be me. So, shh, shh, so shh, right around this, I would be going crazy with that. So you're looking for something that has a little bit slower effect. However, there are easier methods to get rid of gnats and All a right. lot much more, uh, I guess, cheaper on the pocketbook. Nice. And that is to make your own gnat trap using either apple cider vinegar or uh, white vinegar works well. An inverted cone like this works, uh, basically the gnats are gonna fall right into the container and they're not gonna be able to work their way out. Uh -huh. um, also, sticky traps work well. Um, I found that whenever I was dealing with my gnat issue and I was literally dealing with a cloud of gnats, um, the vinegar did work but if I paired it with some fly traps mm -hmm. or fly paper and used the, the vinegar as a lure and then those that didn't fall in there would just basically get caught up in the fly paper, that helped. Double trouble oh, for them. Dramatically. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Plants. They are attracted to any organic material with a lot of moisture and airy conditions. So this is your potted plants at home. Mm -hmm. If you notice swarms are coming from that, there are a few things you can do. You can either use perlite as a top dress like what we have here. Okay. Okay, and about an inch. And what this is, is this is an extremely abrasive material. So the larva that the adults lay inside your grow media, they can't come out. And if they, they try to come out, they're gonna get so torn up that they're, they're not, well, you know, it's just not gonna be possible. Oh, wow. Another method is using diatomaceous earth. Um, it works pretty much the same way. It'll dehydrate those bugs. Um, it also adds some calcium to your plant and some micronutrients, so you get a little twofer there. Very um, nice. Also, play sand and builder sand. You know, if play sand? Play sand or builder sand. You're okay. not gonna get the sand from the beach that has too much salt, it's gonna kill your plants. But okay. it works the same <laughs> way as a physical barrier. Because we've got without. a lot of that, we can do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't be cheap. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, these are awesome. These are great uh, ar weapons to put in your arsenal against the gnats. I know I love having fresh flowers and fresh fruit in my house, so I always am battling that. And if you're like me, you're gonna want to have some of these things up your sleeve that you can uh, combat those, again, those pesky little bugs out of your house. All right, thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Also, don't forget about our farmer's market. There's one going on today. It's going to be on the south side, 5800 Everhart, and also one every Wednesday downtown here in Corpus Christi. It's going to be at La Rotama Park. After the break, we'll announce this morning's Hurricane Kit winner. You won't want to miss it.